up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to create the structural slab of our building of our model okay so let's do this so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to use the CAD drawing that we have uh, linked last time so currently it's turned off in this view so I'm gonna open the visibility graphic overrides so if you uh, forgot the shortcut so you can type VV okay or from the view properties without selecting any elements from the view properties you can select here the visibility graphic overrides you can click edit okay just click that and then from the visibility graphics override for structural plan 02 floor you just go to the imported categories here and then just check the visibility and then okay okay and then there you go now the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to trace the boundary of our uh, CAD drawing so like what I have said we will be using our CAD drawing as a guide to create the slab okay so let's do this let's go to the structure tab structure panel you can see we have several options here from the floor uh, drop down here so we are going to select structural elements here so floor structural click and then from the type selector so let's use here uh, six inches concrete okay so let's select that one and then from the mode panel we will be creating the boundary line and then from the draw panel we will be using line tool okay just click the line tool and then make sure that the chain box here is checked so that you will be creating the the sketch continuously okay so let's do this without an offset so let's trace our CAD drawing so I'm gonna start here anyway you can always modify your uh, structural slab after you create that okay just make sure when you create your sketch make sure it's close no intersection and no overlapping so we're gonna trace it like that so let me just move all the way here okay just pick somewhere here I can still modify that later on and then I'm gonna pick here then you pick here okay so just around that a stair there then let's pick here okay here and then move all the way here pick here and then you can pick here now for this area here we're in if it uh, it's an arc shape so you can use the start and radius so you click that and then let's pick the end of the radius which is this one and then let's put the arc here there you go and then again let's select the line tool don't forget to bring it back to line tool and then let's continue sketching the boundary okay so let's uh, pick here okay and then we pick all the way here Okay, and then let's uh, move here and then here just around that uh, stair then let, let's pick here then let's move all the way here all right okay so I'm gonna pick somewhere here and then I'm going to select modify to terminate okay by the way if you want that to be a little thicker so you can turn on the thin lines so that it shows the the line weight so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a line here but I'm gonna start here so I'm just going to create a short one just like that and then select modify and then I'll be using here trim extend to corner so let's click that click this line zoom out and then you click this line here and there you go so it's now close 
okay and then just select here modify right so after you create the sketch here no overlapping no intersection okay so just select finish finish edit mode and that's it you just created your floor slab okay so highlighted walls are attached to but miss the highlighted targets so detach the target yes i'll just select here okay and there you go all right and then let's view this in 3d view so let's go to the 3d view default 3d view and there you go all right so there's your slab okay all right so i can select here front so i can see how it fares with the other model here Okay, now the next thing that uh, we are going to do is you can specify the offset if you want of your model. So you can click your slab and then if you want, you can specify the offset of your model. So like, by the way, that brown line there, that is your analytical model. Now, if you want to change the offset of your uh, model here, you want to change the offset. So you can specify here height offset from what's that okay level okay so let's say um i'm gonna type here minus six inches and then you just click outside or select apply so this is now how it looks like so as you can see it moves below six inches right so you can modify from there so just click that and then let's say you want that to be zero again just select zero and then apply and there you go okay so like what i've said earlier you can still modify your your floor slab here okay you can click the floor slab and then you can always select the edit boundary so you can select edit boundary and then you can do that in 3D view. So let's say I go to the top of my view cube there. So I can edit. So let's say I want this line to be flash with this line here. So I'm going to use a line tool. Let's use this line as our reference. And then let's click this one here. There you go. Right. And then if I select here, okay, let me just align this one as well. So I click this and then I'm going to select this one to align. And let's see how it looks like. So select finish mode and then just detach. There you go. In the 3D view, this is now how it looks like. Okay. So you can play around with your uh, structural slab. So after you modify it, you can still modify. Uh, you can still change the boundary of your sketch. Okay. So that's it for this um, exercise. So hopefully you learned something. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.